For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shots. Sniff out the man. She's as always got part two of my Niners gun tight. This is one of my favorite formations going back uh, at least a couple of Maddens now. I put out a full breakdown last year, and I might put out a full breakdown this year. I already made a part one. If you guys missed it, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, I'm also, um, I, I might put out the full breakdown in like a week or so. If you guys want to see Woo! that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section because this, there's so many plays I have. So I probably have like nine plays in this. I've already put out two. I'm probably going to put out two or three more in today's video. So if you want to see more, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. So this is the gun tight. They have a ton of different variations. I find the Niners has one of the best ones that's one this is one of the main reasons that I use this particular playbook so much um, is because of the gun tight and the gun split close which I already put out a full breakdown I put a link in the description for that as well if you guys don't know I just dropped a full ebook uh, from the Niners link in the description below I also have a Dolphins defense and Giants defense all that stuff links in the description below if you guys want to check that out I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna add the rest of the, the new place to my audibles because the drive corner I've already used so we're gonna we'll take that out we're gonna put the bench into Today. And then we're also going to do where is that here? The mesh spots on the defensive side. We're going to start off with Tampa two and work our way back to cover three, cover four, like we always do. This play here, all I really have to. I mean, there's a couple different ways that I could beat cover two. It's not really a great play. I mean, both sides really have success. If I want to put the RB route in a traditional wheel route, I find that's best because it arches a little bit better when it comes to cover two. And then streak the B route. That's all I really have to do. The B, the RB route here, if I can buy enough time, will be a big play over the top of the cornerback. Although there, the, the you know the defensive end was bearing down on me a little bit. So. So that's one thing you can do. I'll go ahead and I'll do that one more time. I'll just slide my protection this time, try to get a little bit of a better pass pro. Uh, but I could beat this defense on both sides. I mean, it's not just the running back side. As you can see here, he just runs right past him. I don't know why I didn't catch it, <laughs> but that's probably the more explosive version. I can attack the other side too if I just make some motions over to the bunch which is something I really didn't do a lot of in the first series of plays, but I can I can definitely do this a lot, and I will do this a lot in today's video. Motion this guy over and basically create a bunch concept. On this particular setup, I would flat the X route, and I'll keep my, my tight end on drag, but I'll block the running back. And the Y route here is going to be a very big play against cover two on the other side, although we're not getting a lot of good throws because we have a rookie quarterback in Trey Lance. But that's pretty much the look. So, you know, it, it doesn't even matter who you motion over. I'll motion over this guy, but you can motion over Kittle, you can motion over whoever you want. You can keep the double drags too because the A route will pull the cornerback down the same way that the flat route will. But ultimately, um, I don't know, I guess the double drags might be a better setup. But let's see if we can get a touchdown here as we're getting some big plays. Like I said, I might have the one play touchdown that I want, but there's definitely some big plays. So you can definitely get an explosive play against cover two, but against cover three, the mesh spot's an even better play. This is definitely a much better cover three version. So let's go, let's pick cover three sky. Against cover three, just gonna to wanna to put the B route on a streak or a fade, I don't think it really matters. Then motion the running back to the, uh, to the, to the line like this. Uh, then when you do that, the B route here will just have a really big play right over the top. Although there, like I said, you're a little bit short on pass pro, but luckily you're chasing a streak up the field. So it's pretty quick. They say you're not going to have as much pass pro, but based off the fact that this guy here, um, he's just running a streak. I mean, I'm probably throwing the ball, throwing the ball pretty quick because that cornerback, he has to react to that wheel route. That's really what makes this work this year. I have a lot of cover through one play touchdowns utilizing this wheel route in the same way, uh, including a scheme I just put out, out of the wing type. But this is, a, this is a better version because as a receiver running this, where the other one I had a tight end running it. I find you can put this guy in a traditional wheel route too and have the same effect. So let's go and let's do that again again you see like we said we're getting this exact same effect the reason i'm fading instead of streaking by the way is it just he, he just slightly goes out further away from the safety like i you can put the uh the b route on a streak i just find that the, and you don't even have the motion running back out like all this stuff is is something i find makes the play slightly better but ultimately you can run like this and i'll streak the x route just to try to keep that safety over if i'm going to run it like this but you can see you don't have to do any of these things and you can still have a really big play but I find that it's just like he's just that much closer to covering that. So there's a couple different ways you can run this, but ultimately this is a very explosive cover three play regardless. Now, if you have a fast running back against things like man coverage, I wouldn't say man zero because you don't have enough blocking, but against man cover 
one especially, the running back can do a really good job of, uh, you know, basically, I mean, you need a little bit of a speed advantage. You need a fast running back, but he can do a pretty good job of getting uh, going just as long as you, you know, like you said, like he's just totally, I mean, most are just going to toast the comic Bobby Wagner, but ultimately that's really based off a of speed advantage. So you have a play here. So I typically find motion amounts best. Um, I wish I had a little bit more blocking so I could do this against like a man cover zero. You also have some really good check downs to the drags, obviously. So uh, it's not a single read play when it comes to man coverage. So I would say if it's like a man cover two or a man zero, uh, you made a mistake if you thought it was a man cover one, you're gonna have to hit those drags pretty quick. As you can see, I mean, we're just, you know, that's that's gonna be your man beaters, but you really can't hit a one play touchdown against with the running back. So the next play we're gonna pick is the Z spot. This is one of my more favorite plays. We're gonna pick that. Um, this is not a really good cover two play. We're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna run this against random nickel. So this play here, I mean, there's a lot of really good routes, especially against man coverage. Uh, the RB route is definitely a great flat beater. Uh, whether, you know, that'd be a good check down. Cover three, cover four, any zone coverage, really, that's a good route. Your man beaters are going to be the X route and the A route. Now, I'm putting the B route here on a streak. That's pretty much just to get, um, you know, any, like right there. I mean, we definitely have uh, a cover three, cover three, cover two. You're going to have a lot of opportunities for a kid to be open. It's not really a great route for cover two because I really don't find that it has the depth. But the right side is definitely more of a zone concept side. The left side is really more man beaters with the X route and the Y route. Even the A route is a really good man beater if I get any of those. Uh, but you can see there, that was a blitz. The A route was wide open. But it's definitely easiest to just say, what am I looking at, man or zone? Or just stare down the A route because like I said, that's a really good man beater. So here we go. We got a man coverage. We're going to go to the man side. If we got a zone coverage, we're going to go to the zone side. So against man, the A route, the X route, and the Y route are all solid against zone. You just want to stick to the right side. Against cover three, cover four, the running back will get open instantly. Like that's what it looked like we had there. Um, that's, you know, you can catch that for a quick 10 yards. So this is a really good play. Like I said, I run this a lot just for a little bit of dink and dunk offense. Here we got a cover four and Kittle's open against a cover four. So, you know, it's like I said, this is, this is a really easy play to, to run. You can run this all day as long as you know what routes beat what and make the right read. So here we go, we got that uh, man coverage. That might be a cover four quarters. Uh, which that, uh, yeah, it looked like a couple four quarters. You can see that uh, that route does a good job beating that. Um, and like I said, we just have, you know, we can run this all game. Here we've got a man coverage. I make a poor read, but since Moster's so fast, he still gets outside of it, which isn't going to, you know, typically happen. But, um, you know, that was a poor read, and like I said, still worked out. And the last play we'll show in this video, uh, I guess I'll show the slot curl. This is a good play. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. This is a very good uh, zone coverage and, you know, cover two, cover three, cover four type of play. Once again, we'll go with the Tampa two. This play here, all I really want to do is put this Y route on a streak. I'm going to put this A route on a drag and then I'm going to streak this B route and motion this guy out. Then we're going to block the running back because what he's doing is not really helpful. So this is going to be best, like against a cover two like this, this is going to be a really easy play to the X route. I probably want to move the ball again because based off the fact that I could get some catch and run one play touchdowns against cover two and cover three as long as I uh, have the ball to the open side of the field like this. So like I said, this is just a real easy play. I don't, you don't necessarily have to do this motion against cover two. I would get in the habit of putting the Y route on the streak also though. Uh, because that is something that uh, is going to be helpful. So like I say, you can see he's open by about 20 yards. Against cover three, you're going to have the most success. Uh, pretty much the exact same setup. And I'll put my guy on a, on, a, on a streak one more time. Put my Y route on a streak one more time. And like I said, you have a really easy one play touchdown. As you can see, he gets past the cornerback a lot easier uh, this time than he did in maybe some of the previous plays I showed like this. This particular play, for whatever reason, he just gets right up the seam and he's past the cornerback pretty immediately. Like I said, this guy's in his back pedal, so he's not gonna be able to react to that. Like I said, this formation, I use a lot of motions, so none of these motions should give anything away. And this one here, this is one of the better ones based off the fact that um, a lot of the other one play touchdowns I showed in the first video, the side that you motion out the receiver is the side that scores the one play touchdown. In a lot of the previous plays, the motion side was where the ball went. Like I would motion this guy out on with a PA cross and stuff like that. And it would basically create an opening up the seam for the streak. This here is completely different where you're motioning out uh, the opposite side. So if your opponent starts picking up on that and they start cluing in on the motion side being the action side, this is a perfect counter and you're gonna catch them off guard. That's why this formation is so great because you have so many great plays, so many one play touchdowns, so many different angles you can attack, so many different things you can do. Uh, and it really makes this an impossible to stop scheme. So against cover four, you don't really have to do this motion. 
but I mean, you can set up the same way. I'm just gonna be attacking a different route. I'm gonna be going after that X route now. As you can see, he gets open outside of that cover four way more than he probably should. Uh, I got hit as I threw though, um, but this is something that, uh, like I said, this is a pretty, pretty easy concept. I don't really have to, I can put this guy here since I'm not really counting on that streak to do anything. I could put this B route on like a 10 yard in route or something like that, just to break a little bit later. But you can see like, this is something that, you know, against cover four, you really shouldn't get that open to the corner. So pretty much any zone coverage, that particular route is going to beat. Um, let's go, let's do this again. I'm not gonna make all those motions and stuff because it doesn't really matter. But like I said, if I if I really get a good catch and run, I might be able to, you know, I might be able to sneak up the sideline. That's why I'm still trying to run this play again. But, uh, but that's pretty much it. So you have a lot of really good routes um to attack on a play like this you can see like i said out there i didn't make any adjustments and it's just it's just so ridiculously wide open the zone coverages aren't very good in this game so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys want to see more because i still have more probably got three or four more plays uh just as big and explosive as this one uh hit the like button let me know in the comment section and i'll do that other than that thanks for watching man much it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below See you.